Hello my darlings and welcome to another episode of Cook With Me from Start to Finish. Today on the menu we have some delicious dal puri roti and we have some curry chicken. chicken in this bowl over here i have one kilogram of chicken drumsticks this is what i'm working with today i actually just went ahead and just chopped it up washed it with lime and vinegar so it's nice and fresh as you can see the chicken is looking nice and clean nice and clean all right so to season it up i'm gonna go in with a little drop of olive oil a teaspoon of salt some mixed herbs. We're gonna be putting half a teaspoon. Some garlic powder, half a teaspoon. Some black pepper, half a teaspoon. This is my own curry powder. I mixed it up. It's three different curry powders combined and it's some chief curry powder, some Baron Foods curry powder, and just some Indian curry powder. We're putting about two to three teaspoons in there. Over here I have my green seasoning. This is my own fresh blend. The recipe is on my channel. Just search for Terrian's Kitchen Green Seasoning. I'm going to be putting about a tablespoon or two in there. And now you just want to mix it up. As always, you know I always love to marinate my chicken in the fridge. I put some clear up on top of the bowl and then I just put it into my fridge for about an hour or two. All done. So we have my clean pot over here and we're going to be making that gorgeous curry chicken. Okay, starting off with a little bit of vegetable oil and you also need some onions. You want to make sure that you saute these onions for about two minutes on the lowest heat. Okay. And over here I have some curry powder. Okay. You want to fry the curry powder till it becomes nice and grainy. see how gorgeous it's looking over here I have my curry chicken it's been marinating for the past one hour and a half and after my curry has been going for the past two three minutes okay I'm now gonna go in and add my gorgeous Use a nicely marinated curry chicken to it. You also want to stir it in to that beautiful curry powder. Okay. Mm. 
Now, you don't want to put in any liquid in this. Just go ahead with the lid and let it go for about three minutes covered. In the meantime, to this same bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead with about a cup of water. Okay, we don't want nothing to waste. And we just wanna stir that in, okay? This is what we're gonna be putting into our curry chicken about five minutes into the cook time, okay? Just one cup of water in here like so. So after about three minutes, we're gonna check our pot. nice and rich our curry is looking look at this so delicious wow and it's not even cooked yet okay so this is where i go in with my water remember that bowl that i had earlier with about a cup of water i'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in here like so okay this is the cup of water that is going to Cook my curry chicken beautifully. I'm just gonna cover it up for about 15 minutes, then we're gonna come back and put our potatoes. So after about 20 minutes, we're gonna check on our pot. And now we're gonna go in with our potato. I put in three large potatoes in there. Stir it up. Now you just need to allow this to cook for another 20 minutes and it will be ready. This is chicken and because it's cut so small, it's only gonna take about 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, put the lid back on, give it another 15, 20 minutes, your curry chicken will be ready. So for our dal puri, we will be using some self-rising flour and I'm going to be using three cups of flour. This is half a cup, so I need six of those. Okay, so this is three cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, and we're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. So over here, I have two cups of water, two cups of water, okay? And I just have my spatula that I'm just gonna use to sort of like combine everything before we start going in with our liquid, okay? Just want to go ahead, put a little bit of liquid in here like so, and just combine it with your spatula. And my water is also lukewarm okay I thought I might mention that this water is lukewarm so as you can see I am also adding in the water Gradually, you don't want to add the full two cups of water in there and you just have a whole mushy mess. You don't want that, okay? Okay, and we need to transfer this onto a surface. You will be needing some flour, so just make sure to flour the surface before you go ahead and put your dough. Okay. 
okay so now you just want to work your hand into that dough notice how it is nice and soft okay just want to get our dough nice and smooth see my dough is still nice and sticky so I will suggest kneading the dough for about three minutes or so between three to five minutes is okay okay so now we have a nice dough going on i'm just going to go ahead flour the surface just a little bit and put your dough on here and using that same bowl from earlier cover it and allow it to rest for about 15 minutes okay guys so it's been about 20 minutes and we are just gonna go ahead and check on our beautiful dough over here i'm also going to be using my scale as i am going to be measuring this over here i have my dal puri filling the detailed recipe for my dal puri on my channel shows you how i make my filling so make sure to check it out i'll leave the link down below in the description box okay so we're just gonna go ahead and just cut our dough And we will be weighing it to about 140 grams each. Okay, just pinch off any excess to make it 140 grams. Okay, that's one done. Make sure you have your flour on standby. And now we are just gonna be rolling this into some nice dough balls. Okay, so now we just want to open it out because we need to fill it up with that beautiful Dalpuri filling.
So now it's time to roll it out. Okay, I'm just taking one of those nicely filled dough balls and you need to make sure that you're careful simply because these are nicely filled. Okay? And make sure your surface is floured as well because you don't want this to burst. I'm now going in with my nice rolling pin. And now you just want to roll it out. to roll it as nice and thin as you can flower it a little and I aim to get mine into the shape of a circle but sometimes I don't have so much luck so I just try for the nearest shape to a circle as possible you just need to ensure that you roll it out at least an inch thick okay See how it see how it is? Okay, beautiful. And this one is ready to be set to one side. Dust off the extra flour and we're gonna do another one. Make sure you flour your surface always so that it doesn't stick and then you just want to open it out as gently as you can. Put it down here. Make sure there is sufficient flour to coat it. Okay. Then you just wanna roll it out. Okay. this one looks very nice okay so in my trusty old pots I just lined it with a little bit of oil okay using vegetable oil and we are just gonna go ahead and fry this up okay now this will take anywhere from about two to three minutes to cook this is about a minute and a half on either side all right and you just want to oil the top of your dal curry as it is frying. Okay. Now, normally I would use a tower to do this, but I don't have one. My mom has one, but I don't have one. Okay, so this is why I'm using a frying pan. And for some of you that actually don't have the proper tower to cook this in, 
a large frying pan will actually work brilliantly okay now you just want to flip it over looking gorgeous okay now i actually love my dalpuri to have a bit of color okay so this is why i allow it to fry for about a minute and a half on either side i just flip it over once more okay and then we are going to fold it in half fold it in half and half again gorgeous look at that beautiful okay and i'm just keeping them to the side over there so oil your pot again i'm going with the next one Go ahead and just flip it over. And just oil the surface as well. Okay, just want to flip it over. it over in half okay make sure you fold it over in half like so and again and you take it out gorgeous see how nice and fluffy this is oil your pan yet again all done so after about 45 minutes my delicious curry chicken with potato is all ready guys see it looks really 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 nice okay you have some nice chunky pieces of potato plus the gravy is nicely thickened my chicken is nicely cooked it's not crushed still whole yes let me go ahead and plate it up so we can enjoy this gorgeous yumminess this evening.